stay tuned for the biggest collaboration I think James and I have ever done. It's Christmas! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Christmas. If you're watching this on Christmas Day, I am so honoured because honestly, I don't think I'm going to get time to watch any videos on Christmas Day. So Boxing Day is going to be my big catch-up day. Now, when I was planning Vlogmas, I wanted something really special for Christmas Day. So I suggested that James and I put our collaboration on Christmas Day, which actually did give us more time to ship our boxes to each other. If you saw in the thumbnail, the box is absolutely massive, but I have one more thing that we need to do before we can open that box. And that is finally complete the Primark 25 Days of Disney Stationery Advent Calendar. So this Advent Calendar has had its ups and downs, it's been falling apart, the erasers all followed each other day after day, so it was quite repetitive. But honestly, I've got some really good things from this, especially the paper clips and the pens. So day 25 is here. Although it has fell to the bottom, you can see. Is there any point in me doing this at this point? And it's right down there. And there we have it. The day 25 is a lovely notebook. The pages are lined and I'm going to use this to write down all of my 2020 collaboration ideas. So if you would like to work with me, drop it in the comments or DM me on Instagram. So I'm going to play the intro now and then we are going to get into this massive box. Thank you so much if you have stuck around for this box swap and if you've been here every single day of Vlogmas, thank you so much. I'm going to put a card in the corner to my Vlogmas playlist if you need to catch up on any videos but this is the video I have been most excited for. I am obviously not filming this on Christmas Day. It arrived a week before Christmas, so I've had plenty of time to film and edit this video so that you guys got a Christmas Day video. So this is like early Christmas presents for me and I am so excited. James always does amazing box swaps, not just with me, but with his other friends. And I just love collaborating with him in this way. We usually only do it when I've been to a park myself but this time I tried to get him things that he would love that we sell here in the UK. So once you finish watching this video make sure you go and check out James's video as well. I will leave his channel link and a link to his video in the description box down below. If you are joining me from James's channel, hi, I'm Lizzie. I mainly do plush videos, but when I collaborate with James, we do box swaps, we do pin unboxings and all sorts of stuff. So if you love Disney like I do, then take a look at my channel and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. So I'm going to have to move back a little bit just so that I can have the package in front of me. I am wearing my Christmas Day pyjamas even though I'm not filming this on Christmas Day but I just wanted you to see what I would be wearing if it was Christmas Day. This pair of pyjamas is from Asda I think last year. It has the whole gang and it says Christmas crew on it and they are just so comfy. So <laughs> look at the size of this box. So I sent James quite a big box but nowhere near as big as this box. So. I'm really hoping he likes what I got him. I put a lot of thought into what he got and obviously it's a bit of a struggle because I don't have access to any parks over here in the UK. But I know what he likes and I also sent him some English food to try as well. So let's open this up and see what's inside. James is really excited for my reaction to this just like I am for his. So let's open this up. He always packages it really well as well, so it's really hard to get into. But let's see what's in here. So if you didn't see my final Disney's California Adventure vlog, me and James have actually met now, which is so lovely because if you've been following either of our channels for quite some time, you will know that we regularly collaborate with each other. So to actually meet in person was really, really lovely. And we had so much fun that day. So I'm going to leave a card for that vlog up above if you haven't seen it. Obviously, when you make friends who live in another country, you never think in your wildest dreams you'll be able to meet. So it was so lovely to get to meet him. 
Obviously I was on holiday but he made the trip just to come down and meet me and my family and spend the day with us and it was so lovely. We also filmed a collaboration in Disney's California Adventure and since we've got back this is our second collaboration that we've filmed at home. So I've almost got it open, just got to cut down the middle. There's just the USPS customs declaration in the way which I won't show you because it's got addresses on. Let's get this open. Oh my gosh! Well there's just so much stuff in here. So I opened it up to so many wishables. I cannot believe it. He knows I love Wishables. Our last collaboration was actually Wishables, so I will also leave a card for that as well. But, oh my gosh, let's see what's in this box. So, I lifted up the first Wishable and I can already see some of my other gifts and I'm completely blown away. So, the first thing I've got is the Christmas Wishables, which I've already told him I am doing a separate video on these tomorrow, Boxing Day. So, there is one two, three, four of those. So those will be in tomorrow's video. So make sure you come back for that. He's also got me the completer. Now, if you're not familiar with Wishables, there are four that you can get in the mystery bags and then there's one that you can buy separately. So this is the toy soldier. He comes separately to the four mystery ones and obviously he's bought me four mystery bags in the hope that I can get all five of them all together. So thank you James for those. They will be a separate video for tomorrow. And now I've found the card, so I'm just going to open that up. It's obviously a Christmas card. It says Merry Christmas in amongst the candy canes and then inside it says May all of your holiday wishes come true. And then he's wrote Happy Happy Holidays Lizzie. So stoked to be doing this gift swap with you on Christmas Day too. This has been quite the roller coaster of a year hasn't it? So stoked to have gotten to meet you. Hopefully we cross paths again as I'd love to hang out again. Have a magical Christmas my friend, your pal James. I would definitely love to meet up with James again but unfortunately we actually have no plans to go back to California yet but as soon as we do he's always the first to know about our trips. I'm just laughing because I can see what's inside the box and you guys can't and that's the best part. Now in our last collaboration where we opened the snacks wishables I mentioned in the video how badly I wanted the Mickey Premium Bar on a stick and he got like three of those. So I unboxed two on my channel and James unboxed, I should be saying unboxed shouldn't I? So I had two to open on my channel and James had four to open on his channel and I got the doll whip which I'd actually felt for and then I really wanted the Mickey Premium Bar but I ended up with the Mickey Ice Cream Sandwich. And James got like three of the Mickey Premium Bar, it was ridiculous. And he's actually sent me one because he knew how badly I wanted it. So I'm so happy with that, James, thank you so much. And he's also sent me the Strawberry Popsicle as well. So apart from the Mint Choc Chip Ice Cream Cone, I actually have the full set. So I think I'm going to have to buy that one so that I have the full set of five. Because so far I don't have a full set of Wishables. But thank you so much James for completing my mystery set. And then we've got some more Wishables. This time we've got the Haunted Mansion Holiday Wishables, which I'm actually going to unbox in January as the Haunted Mansion Holiday overlay runs until January, so I can get away with posting these in January. So I will film that very, very soon because I get very impatient with things like this, but you guys will see this video in January. So if you're not subscribed, I highly recommend subscribing and ringing that bell so that you get a notification when I upload that video. So we've got one, two, three, and four of those and there's four in a set so hopefully I can get all four. Thank you James, I think you spent way more than you told me you were spending and I just feel terrible but thank you so much. And then there's some bubble wrap. <laughs> he 
knows how much I love Cheetos, so he has bubble wrapped me not one party size bag of Cheetos, but two party size bags of Cheetos. I don't even think it came across in my vlogs how much I love Cheetos, but the one thing I really miss from America is Cheetos, so thank you so much James for all these Cheetos. They're probably going to last like a week with me. <laughs> and then he sent me some warheads, which I haven't tried before, and I'm really excited to try these. So thank you, James. And then there's still two presents in here. One's actually wrapped up. I'm actually shaking. <laughs> he told me he'd got me a pin that was limited edition and I didn't know which one it was because I I don't really know what gets released but I did know this one was getting released and I had no idea that he would be able to get it for me I just need to get into it as delicately as I can so I'm actually blocking it right now but I have a Walt Disney pin board right there so I collect any Walt pins I can I've been on the Walking in Walt's Disneyland Footsteps tour. I've seen his final resting place. I really want to go to the museum in San Francisco and his birthplace and all that sort of stuff. I absolutely love Walt. And he's got me the most amazing limited edition pin. I did know it was coming out, but I didn't know it coincided with his trip. And I just feel so choked up and emotional that he managed to get it for me. It's got two pin backers because it's a very heavy pin. It's a limited edition of 4,500. I don't know whether you can see that. James is the master of showing close-ups of pins. Unfortunately, I'm not as good. I cannot. And if you want some extra detail there, so you've got a beautiful picture of Walt. I don't actually have anything with that picture. And it says Walt Disney Day 2019. So I found the picture that I saw of it on Disney Pins blog and I knew I wanted it but I didn't think the release of the pin coincided with James's trip so I didn't mention it but I am so happy he managed to get it for me. What a coincidence that this pin arrived two days after the anniversary of Walt's passing. Thank you so much James, I'm so touched that you managed to get that pin for me. Okay so I've got one more thing to open. It's bubble wrapped and wrapped, so I'm excited to find out what's in here. I'm going to cut open the bubble wrap. James knows that I love Wreck-It Ralph, not as much as he does, mind you, but he did wrap my birthday presents in this. We both have a March birthday, so we did a March birthday present swap as well earlier on in the year. So let's open this up and see what I got. I feel like this is something my mum's going to steal. Nope, you're not having it, mum. You're not having it. <laughs> so my mum loves chocolate and she actually said to me the other day that she was really excited to see what James got me. And he's got me some Christmas chocolate bars. She's going to absolutely love these and they are big enough that I can share them with her, which is going to be really nice for us. But I definitely think I'm not letting her have the milk chocolate marshmallow one. Thank you so much, James, for these. So there's five chocolate bars. You've got Pluto on the eggnog flavored candy bar. You've got Mickey on the milk chocolate marshmallow candy bar. You've got Minnie Mouse on the dark chocolate peppermint crunch, which I think will be my mom's favorite. You've got Goofy on the milk chocolate and Donald Duck on the dark chocolate sea salt. And all together, they make a beautiful picture. So that is everything in my box swap from James. I can't believe how generous he has been to me and I wish I could have afforded to get him way more than I did, but I'm quite limited not having any Disney trips to get him anything from and he has access to a lot more parks things than I do. But with that being said, I really hope he enjoyed what I got him. I put a lot of thought into it and there's a lot of treats in there for him to try, which will hopefully entice him to come to the UK at some point to get some more. So I will be back tomorrow, Boxing Day, for the Wishables unboxing that he got me. These are the Merry Christmas series. 
and then sometime in January I will be filming the Haunted Mansion holiday series of the Wishables as well. Thank you so much James for this box swap. I truly cherish our friendship and I love that you know me so well to get me so many amazing gifts. Obviously it goes without saying that this is my favourite but I'm sure you knew that anyway. I am going to head over and see whether James liked what I got him. I hope you will all follow me there as I think you will really love James's channel and what he has to show you guys. I already know what he's got planned for January so I highly recommend subscribing to his channel as you will love the content that will be coming out in January and February on his channel. Again thank you so much for watching this channel whether you are already a subscriber or whether you've come from James's channel. I really hope that you stick around for tomorrow's video and that you enjoyed this one. If you did please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below telling me whether you are from my channel or James's and I will see you tomorrow for my wish balls unboxing. Obviously have a wonderful Christmas if you are watching this Christmas day and if you're not watching this Christmas day then tell me how your Christmas was. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!